And now for the National Outlook with GHK Lal for today, July 30th, 2020. Gabriel Lal on the National Outlook. It's Thursday. My fellow Guyanese, thank you for joining me wherever you may be. Look at this. Today's paper, Kaichor News. Almost all of the captions in color are about what's going on out there, what is captivating our attention and which has strangled us, which has enslaved us. And we, you know what that is without me saying anything about it. But look at this one here, this very little title in black that is tucked away amidst all the other things. Defaulters who fail to submit declarations will face the court. Integrity Commission Chair. One more time. Defaulters who fail to submit declarations will face the court. Why are we talking about this again? Why are we, why does the chairman of the Integrity Commission has to remind senior officers of this land as to their obligations by law, by regulation. We put together an integrity commission. That's a wonderful thing. I would even say it's a momentous step. We make a speech, we pat ourselves on the back, we feel good about ourselves and then we go home and then we do nothing afterwards. At least I hear 25, I read 25 members of parliament and 52 public officials. That tells me it would be 52 senior or very senior public officials who have decided to flout the requirements some five months after they have become due. So the Integrity Commission Chair says, default is that we will take you to court. Quite frankly, I, I am not too impressed or amused, I think would be their response as to the courts. Because if we look as to what is happening in terms of our courts, it's being made a mockery of, all the way to the CCJ, by repeated forays there, then what is a little, and excuse me, Mr. Chairman, what is a little integrity commission declaration that is due? Nobody's paying attention to that. These, these folks didn't pay attention then. They're not going to pay attention now. So uh, do what you want. That's what they're saying. That's the kind of men and women of the law that we are in this country. We may make a lot of noise. We may claim to the contrary how we about this and that, put our hands on our hearts and swear over a stack of some sacred script, scripture, whichever it is, and then do nothing, absolutely nothing about to fulfill what our responsibilities are. I mean, why can't we do this thing? If the other folks have done so, why can't you and I, if we are so do that we have to do so, why aren't we doing that? What's the problem here? Is it that we, we just disrespect the Integrity Commission? Is it as far as we are concerned that the Integrity Commission doesn't exist, it, and if it does, it doesn't have any teeth? I think that's the message here. And, and, and I have to ask, and we all should ask, when our senior people in this country does this, when they do this, what example is being set for our children? What example is being set for, for my neighbors and my peers and me? What should I follow? Should I follow anything? Should I uh, obey the law? Should I follow the regulations when they tell me stand behind that line? When they tell me, please wait your turn? This, this kind of behavior, and I'm, I'm going to take this a little far. This is what grows trickle by trickle into a cascade, and then it becomes chaos, where everybody does their own thing, which is what we have been doing for the longest while. 
and the integrity commission that we've got to talk five months later, the chair has to talk five months later about defaulters and about taking them to court, that is infra digger. That is unacceptable. That is shameful. That is disgraceful. 25 members of parliament, whoever they are, 52 public officials, whoever they may be. I mean, shame is not the word. Shame. This, this is just plain, downright arrogance. This is arrogance and ignorance. There are no mitigating circumstances. You get a month, you get two months, you get three months. Five months later, and this man has to be taken to the papers time and again to remind, please file the thing. Why does he have to beg? Why should he be begging? Why should any chairman or, or responsible officer in an organization that has a mandate to fulfill should be asking of our public people, please do your part? Why is this not happening? Something has to give here. Until the next time, Gabriel Lal on the National Outlook. Do have some happy holidays, but we should be talking tomorrow, God willing. Take care.